Syria, the Idlib province, known for its green landscape. This is Sarakib, just going through the roads, entering the city roads, and all we can see is the green independence flag and with the children giving peace signs. This is Syria, this is Idlib, this is Sarakib, this is a secondary school that was burnt down by the Assad folks under instructions from Bashar al-Assad. This is what I've been told by the people and this is what I can clearly see. I'm a civilian here, a Sarakib civilian, an activist. Who has done this? Assad Perna school. Assad Perna Assad kills us. President Bashar al-Assad done this and he kills you and he burns you? Yes. Let's take a look inside to have a clear image. Take a clear look inside here. This is what happens to secondary schools, this is what happens to homes, to buildings, to people, even people are burnt down until the very last piece. This is a secondary school, this is where people usually learn here. However, this was a place where people migrated to due to their house being bombed, their houses being destroyed, so they made their way here and two people have died through this situation, burnt down until death. Whilst driving through the roads, all we could see is burnt buildings and destroyed ones. And another 200 houses were burnt down until the very last piece. Take a look at the damages done inside the house. It's a bombshell that went right through the beach. This is how houses look like. I am sure this is very different from your own house. With the last hit that the city of Soraki took from the Assad forces, they have destroyed most of the city and they've killed over 50 people, 50 people through the last hit. Through the last hit. This is another house in Soraki, destroyed a two floor house. This is how they used to be attached next to each other. However, this house was destroyed by a couple of bombshells. Take a look at what's left. This is one house amongst a couple of hundred houses. Even businesses were not left alone. Even though more than 13,000 protesters have been killed by this brutal Assad regime, the people still stand strong and protest. They have faith to topple down this regime to topple down this dictator and his followers.